Welcome back to my Pokemon Diamond Mono Ice type run, episode number six. I am Circle Cat Zack, and in this episode, we are going to explore Flo Aroma Town and the uh, surrounding events. So already up here, I see some uh, berries that we can pick up. Let's go ahead and pick them up in fast motion. There we go. Uh, this one too, cherry berry. Do 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 do. No, I don't want to plant a berry. Uh, let's see what is in this house over here. I've not yet been in the Pokemon Center since my, uh, my guy, my Circle Cat, doesn't need any, um, healing yet. But we just got the TM4 Pluck, TM88, from this chick over here with the Clefairy doll. And let's see what this woman has to say. Well, Romatown was a barren, desolate hill long ago. People started pointing flowers on it because it was such a sad place, but nothing would grow. People didn't know what to do. And then one day, someone expressed thanks for the blessings of nature. Then the whole hill burst into bloom. Isn't that wonderful? I guess. Kind of a cautionary tale, especially in today's times, you know, about environment and keeping, you know, nature around and making sure that we don't ruin everything with our toxic fumes. Some kinds of Pokemon appear only if they're attracted by the sweet scent of honey. Uh, Pokemon must have an acute sense of smell. They can sense the aroma of honey from very far away. They have the same voice, okay? Um... Let's see what else there is in this town. We got a Pokemart. Uh, we've already been in that building. And over here is an area we cannot go into yet. If we talk to these guys. Aren't we Team Galactic and we're assigned here? Standing around among flowers. This doesn't seem all that cool. Hey, man, don't complain. This is a pretty decent assignment. But bug and grass type Pokemon creep me out. I don't like being here either. So we cannot get into that area just yet. We first have to go outside here to Route 205, where there are more berries, and let's pick them. Do do do. Okay, we got a Chester berry there that'll cure uh, a sleeping Pokemon, and a Petra berry there that'll cure a poisoned Pokemon. Alright, continuing on, we have a trainer here, I think. Uh, we have someone that needs our help, actually, that needs the help of a trainer. Apparently, she's lost her papa at Valley Windworks. We can't go there yet, there are two uh, plasma guards stationed there. And here we are at Valley Windworks. On Fridays, you can find the Pokemon Drifloon here, uh, but every day you can find the Pokemon, or you can find a potion here. Uh, only once, though. Once you get it, you know it's gone. And let's talk to this guy to continue on. Don't you dare go into the Valley Windworks. I got ordered to keep everyone out if they're not part of Team Galactic. You're giving me a look that makes me think you're gonna try to get in. Okay, then you'll have to battle me for it. Right next to me there on the right was a uh, tree that you can put honey on. That's one of the trees that uh, gives you a Pokemon after you wait a day after slathering honey on it. And those Pokemon, uh, probably most famous one is Combi, but you can find a lot of other Pokemon uh, with honey. So let's go down here and take on this Glamiao with a uh, with an Icy Wind. I'm going to speed this up. Unfortunately, that doesn't take it out in one hit, but uh, that didn't do very much. So we'll just hit it with another Icy Wind and see if he has anybody else, but he doesn't, so we'll just take his money. <laughs> Isn't that just great? Getting owned by some kid. But you can't do a thing if I lock myself in with the works key. That's right, the other works key's not here. My cohorts in the flower patch have the only other one. Ha ha ha, in that sense I'm no longer the loser. Kerchunk. So, as you saw there, uh, he locked us out and... He let slip that his cohorts, as he called them, are hanging out at the flower patch. They are the two workers that we saw over here, and now, I believe, we can get into this area. So this area looks much the same, except there's two guys here for plasma and uh, some elderly looking dude. Enough already, hand over that sweet honey. Do as we say, Team Galactic will have that honey. We must have it to attract Pokemon in great numbers. Hey, this kid is a witness. What do we do? We don't need the brat running off to get help. The solution's simple. We ensure the brat stays quiet. So here we have um, a grunt here. I think we're going to have to battle two in a row. Thankfully, uh, he is a Wurple, and we go first because there's Quick Claw. I'm not sure that it mattered because we are eight levels higher, but a Silcoon is just about the same, if not worse, because I'm pretty sure all it can use is Harden, and we take it out in one hit once again. This is, why is, this is why I'm going to be stuck as a grunt forever. We're going to take his money and then move on to the next guy, maybe. Yep, here we go. I'm up next. Hehehe. 
Battling you right after my cohort weakened you, giving me the advantage or something like that. And actually, it didn't really weaken me, it just lowered the PP of one of my moves. But Zubat is also a great opponent for my Circle Cat, so much so that I'm confident going for Powder Snow instead of uh, Icy Wind. And we defeat the uh, Galactic Gun just like that. If only I had some decent Pokemon. Well, you're a grunt, so like, maybe you can quit and go catch some of your own Pokemon. This brat's tough! Like, really, really tough! Tougher than I can put into words, and I know a lot of words! We're done for here, let's go back to the Valley Windworks. That guy's gonna look around pensively. Oh, what's this thing? They seem to have forgotten it. It's a works key, it must be for the Valley Windworks. It's of no use to me, you may as well have it. And we get the key that we need to get into the Valley Windworks. Thank you, you surely saved me. Those goons were trying to rob me of my sweet, sweet honey. They sure were weird though, you saw how they were dressed. What they were saying didn't make a whole lot of sense either. Oh, I need to thank you. Will you take this as your thanks? My thanks? Somebody's thanks? Uh, I didn't get an option there, but I'll take your honey. If you slather that honey on a sweet-smelling tree, it might attract Pokemon. I should have, like, a sweet counter. And it just, uh, went into twilight or something there. It's now 6 o'clock where I live. Um, so it just got a little darker. That wasn't a cut or anything. It just is now 6 o'clock. If you put honey on a tree, check back later to see if it's rustling. If it is, it's quite often a rare Pokemon. It gets my hopes up if I see that happening. Uh, probably not gonna do that just cause I, you can't find ice types in there and that's all I can catch. So let's go back out here. Uh, I guess I'll heal up real quick before we go take on the Valley Windwork. So I will see you guys after I'm done healing. Back out here, uh, I actually did it one too slowly, I think. No, that that was normal speed, that was just kind of a lag, I guess. Anyway, back out to Route 205, and we are going back into Valley Windworks to open the door and hopefully clear out the Valley Windworks in this episode. It's locked from inside, use the works key? Kerchunk! The door to Valley Windworks opened, and we can now go inside. It didn't really look like it changed, though. What? No way! You have the key? He was waiting for us the whole time. Locking the door was meaningless. I am the loser in this after all. This is no time for self-pity. I've got to alert the commander. So he's going to point us in the correct direction to go. And we will take on this guy if he'll ever look at us. Jeez. I ain't fooling around, kid. This is how a professional does it. Does what? Pokemon? That is quite odd. Anyway, he just has one Pokemon, and it's a Cascoon. So we're just getting great matchups all over the place. And we take him out in one hit with a crit, which didn't really matter, and that wasn't actually supposed to rhyme, but oh well. You messed up my job, now I'm not gonna get a bonus. Grunts get bonuses? That's nice of what's-his-face, Cyrus. I am gonna take this guy on, I do want as much experience as I can get, because I only have Circle Cat to work with until after the second gym. So this guy will have two Pokemon, he's gonna have a Warple, still a great matchup, so I'm gonna go for Powder Snow. Just because I can. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh well. That's fine. We're gonna be faster with a quick claw, so let's go. Uh, we do not quite get the level up, and he's gonna send out Glamiao. So I'm gonna go for the Icy Wind because it's Stab, and uh, it is more powerful than the other move. And that still didn't take it out, so let's go for Bite. Thankfully, we are faster. And we'll grow to level 18, which is fantastic. Don't learn a new move, evidently, but uh, it's not really nice that. That Glammeow got a crit, although it's one of the few Pokemon that have actually hit Circle Cat so far. This guy didn't want to battle. Uh, oh, that was the guy that we uh, got at the um, that we fought at the door to this place. So looks like we have a commander here. I'm one of Team Galactic's three commanders. We've been trying to create a new world that's better than this one, but people have shown little understanding about what we do. You don't understand either, do you? It's a little saddening. So, let's have a battle to decide what we should do next. If I win, you leave. If you win, we, Team Galactic, will leave. That's nice of you. And I'm not going to speed this one up because it is a commander battle. And it gave us that little cool G, which is nice. This is Commander Mars. You can remember her because she has red hair. And red hair is similar to the red on Mars, I guess. But, uh, she's going to start out with a Zubat. Uh, hopefully we can take it out with an Icy Wind as we are four levels higher and that is super effective and it is stab and please take it out after all those reasons boom there we go 
Zubat is down, and Circle Cat will get some more experience, which is fantastic. Do 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 do. Okay, not much though, which is a little saddening. But now she's gonna have a per ugly, and of course we have to keep battling. It's not like we can go into Snail because then it wouldn't be a Mono Ice type run. Uh, what do I want to do here? Do I want to Icy Wind or do I want to Bite? I think I want to Icy Wind. And we will go faster because of the uh, Quick Claw, which has been a nice item. We don't always need it, and it kicks in even when we don't need it sometimes. But uh, it's nice to have it now, and that did nothing. I'm a little scared. How much will this do? Uh, I can take one more. And then hopefully we can uh, just heal off the damage. And then I might go for Bite. I just want to lower its uh, speed some, just in case it is faster than us, or was. Faint attack, please tell me we can take a faint attack. Okay, we can, good. Let's heal up, and then I will go for uh, bites, because then we can also get, uh, we have the possibility to get flinches, I think. So that'll heal off all the damage. She's going to go for another scratch, that's not a big deal. That does 10. Oops, don't want to go back there. I want to go to Bite. There we go. And now we are faster for sure. That will do not much more damage. And oh my gosh, she has a uh, Auron Berry. That's not nice. Faint Attack. Troop do I'm going to speed this up. I didn't anticipate it taking this long. Let's just go for Icy Winds. Alright, this is going to be sort of stally and annoying. Let's go for it. I'm feeling risky. Go, 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 go. Oh man, that was close. Good thing this isn't a Nuzlocke run. Let's go for another Super Potion. There we go. Faint Attack did more than Scratch did by 1 HP. Uh, Icy Wind will not quite take it out. I'm not sure if another one will either, actually. Please tell me it will, though. Max damage. No. Okay. We are faster, so I'll go for a Powder Snow. Boom. doop doo Finally, Frugly is taken out, and Circle Cat gets a bunch more experience than he did with Zubat. That will not quite get us to level 19, but still, it will get us the victory after two super potions. And lots of money. We got enough money to, almost enough money to cover the super potions. I think there's 700? Oops, I messed that one up. That's alright, though. I quite enjoyed our battle. I guess it's time to say goodbye and leave for the time being. And apparently that guy wasn't with them. Team Galactic. They were saying they had to gather the Pokemon and energy no matter what. It was for creating a new universe, or so they claimed. Nothing they said made any sort of sense to me. I can't tell you how grateful I am for saving me. I can finally see my little daughter again. And there she is. Papa! Yuck, Papa, you're stinky. Go shower now, stinky. Oh, ho <laughs> ho, roasted. Oh, sorry. <laughs> they had me working non-stop. Thank you, trainer. You made those bad people go away. I think the balloon Pokemon will come visit again. Yeah, you have to do this before Drifloon will come back. So if you came here on a Friday before doing this, then that's why Drifloon wasn't there. Uh, and that's it, I guess. So now we can head on back. I cannot wait till we get a darn bicycle. I, even though we can't use it in here, I just want to use a bicycle just in general. So now we're going to have to run all the way back to Route 205 through Route 205 and back into Floraroma Town to heal up and then I also might uh, pick up some items at the Pokemart and then hopefully I think we can get to Route 205 now so I will be right back as I heal up my Pokemon and get some items alright we are back now I only bought super potions but uh, it was a necessary pit stop and now we can go out to Route 205 and probably take on some of these trainers. So let's take on this chick right here. Oh, no, no. Man? Boy? Boy? Person? I can't really tell with these, uh, what are they, campers? Yep, it's a boy. Camper Jacob, he is going to have a ponyta. That's not great. Um, we're just gonna have to go for bite. And hope we can do a lot of damage. That did not enough to take me out, I don't think. And it missed with tackle, and why did it go for tackle? Oh, good, it didn't get a crit. That could have been bad. Oh, jeez, and now I'm gonna have to heal up. Oh, jeez. Stupid pony toss. See, this is the trouble we're gonna have with fire types, and it only went for tackle. We could have survived. And it went for tackle again. Oh, well. That's fine. 
Rather be safe than sorry. Anyway, now we can learn a new move. We can get Headbutt, and that is better in my opinion than Double Team. I'm not going to be an Evasion Horse, so we'll take that out and get Headbutt. And that is Camper Jacob for you. That really dampened my spirits. Oh, and me calling you a girl didn't? Uh, you're an interesting lad. Now, if we take on this uh, hiker dude, we can pick up this item over here. There's no mountain here, but I'm dressed to hike. Gahaha, <laughs> here it goes. Well, what are you standing on then? That sort of looks like a mountain to me. Anyway, this guy's going to have four Pokemon. Uh, I suspect they're either all Geodudes or maybe Geodudes and some Machops. But either way, uh, easy work for Circle Cat. I have to stay in. Yep, there's a Machop right there, but Bite would be a lot worse because it's... um. Oh, geez, that's super effective too. I forgot. Bite is not very effective against fighting types, but we can take it out in two hits. Another Geodude. Also easy work because... Rock types are generally slow, and we have super effective moves. And now a Bidoof, a random Bidoof, are you serious? I'll Icy Wind it anyway. And that still didn't take it out, darn you Bidoof. I'm gonna bite your face off. Okay, good. There we go, and we defeated Hiker Daniel. Let's continue on by getting this item. It is an X attack, that wasn't worth it. Well, the experience kinda was. I'm not really gonna use, uh special battle items like I said but it's nice to know what that is we have another camper here is it a boy or a girl I think it's a boy it is a boy it's Zachary with a K I've never seen Zachary spelled with a K I've seen like Z-A-C-K Z-A-C of course Z-A-C-H I've even seen Z-A-K I don't know if anyone else has seen that but I've seen Z-A-K and we have uh, defeated this guy so Let's continue on here and battle this. What's his face? A hiker. Of all possible, or of all places possible, I've lost my way here. Dern, dern, dern. Let's speed it up a little bit. He only has one Pokemon. It's an Onix. That's actually a pretty good matchup, and I should probably heal soon. I'll probably heal uh, after I cut the video, and then I'll just come back to wherever we are, and we get some good money from him. So let's uh continue on. Do we have any more trainers? Yeah, we have one or two. Hey, let's get this item then, since she refuses to look at us. We'll get that, and then we'll battle her. It's like a battle girl or something, or a karate girl. Osu! Osu! That must have not translated that over from uh, Japanese. I'm not trained to hold back. Alright, it is a battle girl. She only has one Pokemon, too. It's a Machop. Hopefully, it doesn't have Karate Chop or something really devastating, or we can just take it out. We can't. But thankfully, he just went for Foresight, which I don't really get the point of, but Icy Wind is going to take it out. And there we go. And she concedes, or whatever she said. So, one more? Well, do we have one more? I think we have one more. And that'll be it for this episode. Let's continue on and battle Karina. Interesting name. And she's going to have a Piplup. Ice moves won't do much against a Piplup. But we do get the flinch with the bite, which is great. Uh, Peck doesn't do much, and bite will take it out. I definitely need to go heal because I am in the yellow health area and we have reached our next destination. This is what I was trying to do before I ended the video off. It's a turn of forest and I will be at least getting through a good chunk of it in the next episode. So thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Like and favorite the video and leave a comment below. Go check out my main channel, Shiny Andrew Zack, my TCG channel, SHZ TCG, and my Pokemon community channel, Poke Capital. And before I forget, question of the day. Uh, question of the day, which um, TM, or which move, I'll just broaden it to which move. Which move in any generation is your favorite? Mine is probably an ice type move like Sheer Cold. I'll go ahead and say that for the time being. If I think of something else, I'll let you know. And I want to know what you guys think, so answer that in the comments below. And until next time, I will see you guys later.